State of Origin competition is what it's called. GPO Box 999. Brisbane, 4001. To answers on the back of an envelope, your own name and address, and importantly, your phone number. The winners announced during Wide World of Sports on May 30th. Spina, Lindner, Bob Lindner. He's going to run this round beside the post. And Bob Lindner's in to score. And it's now 10 all with the kick to come. Oh, and didn't he run through some pathetic looking defence? And I've got a name, uh, Tessman, too. Missed him when he came over the line. There's the pass inside. Missed by Canescu. And there's Tessman letting him go. Why the hell he would let him go there has got me beat. And sorry, but uh, not good defence. Lindner beating Canescu. Then, just walking out of a front rower's tackle, he should have crushed him like a grape. Bob Lindner, the form lock forward in the Sydney competition. He's had a sensational uh, form since coming back from the Kangaroo Tour and his stint in England after that. Back to Parramatta. I read in the paper the other day, Ian Walsh reckons he's probably the closest thing he's seen to a John Raper. Well, that's not a bad rap. <laughs> That's the biggest rap you can get. He's topped the tackle count nearly every match since he's been back with Parramatta, and he's captaining this side here tonight, Bob Lindner. Here's Jackson. And that's over. The New South Wales go to a lead of 12 points to 10. Lewis restarts. Belcher picks it up. Ran away from Miles. Grant Ricks and Bennett King moving up to tackle the Australian fullback. Now he, he, he was lined up then. I tell you what, he, he was that elusive. He nearly got away. He must be hard to nail because or something. Looks to run on his toes, Gary Belcher. Very deceptive. He's got a very good swerve, Mick. Definitely, but oh, there's a good sort of a swerve. New South Wales taking the ball up with Stephen Walters. Jackson to Spina, Kevin Walters. Oh, beautiful pass for Tessman. Then it goes back to Gilmeister. Gilmeister's held on to. Spina's on the run again. It's gone back to Tassel to Kevin Walters, and that is a great New South Wales try. That went all over the park, and the Queensland defence was stretched to hell and high water, and they drowned. New South Wales now lead by 16 points to 10. 18 metres out from the line through Sandy. Lewis having a run. Miles. Colin Scott. A long pass to Clinton Moore. And that's great cover by Bob Lindner. By golly, that's great cover defence. And he's stolen the ball as well. Kevin Walters. They start to move at the Blues. They get to the halfway mark. Belcher plays it. And goes Spina from the dummy half position. Miles, Queensland vulnerable up the middle of the ruck. Oh, they, that market defence is non-existent. Spina's injured. Having a very good game, Laurie Spina. He's out to prove a point, I think, tonight is Laurie Spina. And not doing a bad job of it. Here he goes. He gets caught. Gino gives him a swish. And I tell you what, it's not his uh, legs that are hurting. It's his jaw. Because Gino... <laughs> Gino, yeah, look at him, he says, let's uh, see if my uh, jaw is in one piece there, and it is. And as Queensland regain possession through Greg Canescu, we'll go to Chris, and uh, you got Gino there, big Gino. Yeah, we've got Gene Miles with us at the moment. Gino, uh, the burning question, how are the uh, ribs? Yeah, they held up pretty well, Chris. I didn't have any problems with them at all. What do you think of the match so far? Good pipe opener for the state of origin? Yes, yeah, certainly is. Certainly is a very physical game. There's no uh, holes barred out there, no love lost between the two sides. Okay, mate, all the best. Let's see you out in the paddock in the state of origin. 16 to 10. They're looking for the final nail in the Maroons coffin. And now they move it out wide. Jackson inside to Tony Curry. Inside it goes to Tassel. Back to Gary Belcher. That's the try. That's the ball game. And New South Wales are just too strong and too fit. And that's put Belcher in the state side. No doubt about it. What a good finish by the New South Wales Queensland fellows. They have shown that there's nothing like that hard game every week to uh, tone you right up. And I tell you what, beautiful ball play here. Inside. 
Oh, Curry did the right thing. He gave Tassel did well to get rid of this ball. Actually, he was mid-air. Looked like a, a halfback getting rid of the... Play. I tell you what, once again, Mr. Gommelsall, I hope so. Let's hope they don't get injured before they get prepared. But uh, uh, that could be on the, on the uh, capers. Tell you what, they're soft up the middle to New, uh, Queensland, aren't they? One two. Oh, he's... That's the countdown. That's the full-time score. And New South Wales have defeated Queensland by 20 points to 10. We'll take a commercial break. Then we'll be back with more from Lang Park. Next to injustice. So there it was, Queensland going down to New South Wales, the Blues getting home by 20 points to 10. We'll take this opportunity to go to Chris Bombalus in the dressing rooms and he's got Wally Lewis well, Wally, with him. Wally, uh, down but uh, not beaten, a big game out there. Oh well mate, it was a great game of football, I'm sure rugby league was a winner tonight and uh, a lot of Queenslanders enjoyed seeing the Sydney blokes come back but uh, you know, the, the overall story was quite easy to read, the, the fitness just told us in the end. There are uh, quite a few players who had niggling injuries, what about yourself? Oh, that's right, mate. I've just got a, a bump on the arm and uh, carrying a bit too much weight. <laughs> Who were the blokes that impressed you tonight, Well, Well, I thought a lot of us. Sam Backhoe was a bloke that I thought stood out more than uh, anybody else. And uh, I think everybody that saw Bobby Linder's game realised how much uh, the kangaroo to and also the move to Sydney's benefited him. He had a great game. We've got three State of Origin matches coming up. I hope this is the last time uh, the Blues get up over the Maroons. Yes, we hope so. Uh, you know, I think we'll come out with a, a hell of a state of origin side after that game because uh, if you combine the talents of the players on both sides, I'm sure you'll agree that we're going to have a pretty fair football side. OK, Wally, all the best. Thanks, Chris. Well, let's now have a look at the stats for the match and see what we can draw from that. The penalties went the way of New South Wales by 8-4. to four. The scrums went Queensland's way, 11-7. to seven. And New South Wales, of course, winning the match, they scored four tries to Queensland's two. Only three goals kicked in the match, two by Peter Jackson for the Blues and Colin Scott kicked one for Queensland with New South Wales getting home by 20 points to 10. We'll go back to the uh, dressing rooms and once again, here's Chris. First ever Winfield Challenge, uh, the winner, New South Wales captain uh, Bob Linder. It's, uh, it's a funny thing I have to call you New South Wales captain, but a, a great match tonight. Yeah, it was uh, certainly a, a rough and tough one. I mean, uh, the first half we didn't see much of the ball and... It was a great display of defence by, by my side and I think we were down in our own quarter there for 20 minutes and, you know, they didn't go over. And then the second half, being a new side, you know, it took us, um, the first time we played the Gerard it took us about 30 minutes to get our act together and attack. And uh, when it come, it come thick and strong and we put on the points. What was the difference between the two sides? Well, I think, you know, we scored the points in the second half, so fitness must be won. And uh, like I said, as the game went on, because of our strong defence, our attack sort of built. And uh, it was our forwards defence which uh, got us there, I think. Who were the guys that impressed you from your side? I, I, got, I got miles to speak of, um, of uh, Laurie Spina. I mean, he, he had a fantastic game. Uh, in the forwards, just great defence by Trevor Gilmeister, Brad Tessman. Uh, you know, every, every one of the forwards, I can go, go on, but. You know, those are the guys that really shone out. Uh, Wally Fulton Smith, he worked every second he was on there. Peter Jackson out the backs, you know, he was creative, he made gaps. And uh, Gary Belcher just chewed him up whenever Of uh, State of Origins, of course, this match tonight was for the selectors. They had to sit down and select the Queensland State of Origin match to play New South Wales on June the 2nd, and also the uh, Queensland touring team to go to New Zealand next week for the two-match tour. Who made the sides? who denied are happy, who are disappointed, the man who can tell you is Chris Bomblis because he's at the Roma Street Travel Lodge with both sides. Well, Alan, the wait is over for those 15 players selected in the first State of Origin match. The fullback is Gary Belcher. The wingers, Alan McIndoe and uh, Dale Shearer. The centres, Peter Jackson and Gene Miles. Wally Lewis is the 5'8th and captain. Halfback, Alan Langer. The lock forward, Bob Lindner. 
Paul Vorton and Trevor Gilmeister are the second rowers. The props, Martin Bella and Greg Dowling, and Greg Canescu is the hooker. The reserves, in the backs, it's Cole Scott, and in the forwards, it's Ian French. So that's the 15 named in that first state of origin match to take on the Blues on June 2. We'll have that here on 9, Wide World of Sports, June 2, the telecast. Don't forget for the moment, though, it's Chris Bombalus signing off on behalf of the uh, commentary team, Alan Thomas, Mick Vivers. Good night.